pollinators writ large of bees, butterflies, and any other insect groups are definitely threatened on a global or local scale due to habitat loss or destruction. So when we convert a forest into a cornfield, you lose practically every native pollinator that you started with in that forest. So what, the western honeybee, domesticated, semi-domesticated animal that we farm, that we manage in, in, in boxes, is not in decline globally. In the U.S., pollinator services are actually more highly valued than is honey production. Crops like cherries and apples and squash and blueberries and most notably almonds benefit from having honeybees brought to the orchard or to the field. Globally, yes, pollinators writ large in many instances are in decline. The western honeybee, there are real threats, but just as with any farm animal, there are parasites, there are predators, there are pathogens, and we just need to deal with them. We do have some bumblebees today. These look like the eastern bumblebee, Bombus impatiens, and they are putting their tongues into the front of the flower. They're going from flower to flower, and it looks like they're actually getting nectar. Basically, they're part of the food web. Lots of things eat them. And they're also helping plants produce seeds. Without pollinators, you're not going to have a lot of plant re reproduction. The things that threaten pollinators, habitat loss, and then pesticides, and then also climate change. If you took all the pollinators out of this area, you would see a shift in the ecosystem. You know, maybe less plant growth, some plant kinds of plants might die out. It would just reach a new equilibrium. We're losing a lot of wild spaces, but you don't need much space to create some, a, a little bit of wild space in your backyard. You can create a haven for pollinators. When you grow a variety of plants, it will attract different kinds of insects, different kinds of pollinators. People will sometimes plant plants that butterflies like, but then they'll kill the caterpillars or not have host plants. Taking care of the babies is just as important as taking care of the adults. So it's not enough to just have nectar plants and pollen plants. You also want to have plants that caterpillars can, can feast on. Plant flowers, plant host plants, and you'll be rewarded with a plethora of insect life.